diving right back into some more black magic here. So... I feel like we're starting to get our basic route down on this. Like, hmm. Not great when the first thing you do is get beat up by the first monster that you see. And I didn't even manage to pick up arrows somehow. All right. All right, for reals this time. We've got arrows. There's a monster. We killed him. Okay, we're back on track. So anyway, um, I feel like we're starting to get a basic route down for this. Like, sure, you want to come up here. You want to get the, um, the first eyeball right up here and then uh, head down toward the town. And then there's like the little dungeon down there that was down the bottomless pit that we didn't know existed. Um, check out the second episode of this for for more, more of that bullshit. Um, and then heading through the prison and then east to the last places. Um, it's still a pretty sketchy run. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of luck involved in whether you're able to pull that off. There's a lot of luck in what monsters you run into, if your spells take you where you want to go, and then, like, since you have to kind of rely on that eagle to get you out of there, mm, a lot is up in the air. I, I'm not expecting there's uh, many folks out there who, uh, you know, are able to consistently get through this. And since I've done so miserably <clears throat> at the start here, we're not even going to try. So let's call that practice. <laughs> get through this unskippable scene here. It's always weird the like gore that appears on his head as he's kind of melting the skeleton. It always kind of looks like a coonskin cap or something shows up there for a second. I'm not sure what's going on. Anyway. <clears throat> okay. Black magic. Back into it. Load up. Pause on pause, pause on pause. There we go. That's better. You dodge the fireball, the fire pellet, the ping pong ball. You kill the monster. You know, I was just saying that pretty much our, our route has always taken us to get this eye up here first, but I kind of wonder if there's wisdom in maybe forestalling the appearance of <clears throat> these bats that show up everywhere and the little like wiggle demons and uh, the sea monsters there by not getting it. I mean, you're not putting it off for long. That just means that they would all be showing up down under the town just below here. Um, but you sort of need to come up this way again, you know, after you've hit the town and the Bat Cave and the Cave of Courage and the prison down there. Oh my god, why do I know the names of these places? Um, <clears throat> moving, <laughs> moving right along. Um, since you've had to go through all of those, I mean, the first one doesn't matter too much. It's not like that's making it way more difficult but definitely by the time you get to the prison you've got those alien looking dudes you've got the giant bouncing dinosaurs um things seem to get pretty hairy through there so if you've already got to come right back up maybe there's wisdom in putting off getting that first eyeball uh, the only downside that i see to it is those eagles are so bloody fickle that I think it would probably be a pretty easy thing for one of them to bring you up out of the prison or one of the lower eye areas. Just nowhere near the, uh, that first, uh, that starting zone there. And then you've got all the, got to go all the way back and get right screwed. So, it's kind of a gamble one way or the other. I feel like that one time when I was super successful and got near the end, that was that was entirely luck. I mean, there's not a lot of skill factored into this. And when I do eventually beat this game, 
it's probably gonna go down the same way. <laughs> Hopefully it's gonna involve a playthrough where, you know, random plant monsters don't just wreck me for no reason, but we'll, we'll see. L look forward to session 375 when I finally beat this damn thing. <laughs> Alright, two eyes, a good number of spells, a good number of arrows, starting to be pretty thin on health though. Ugh. Is fall damage a thing in this? I guess we'll see. See, even that time it seemed like I took the damage from... from starving, not from... from actually falling. It's hard to tell, just since, I mean, you're might lose a tick of health at any point. It's kind of hard to tell what actually does damage to you. It even I've even kind of gone back and forth on whether or not those bats hurt you. I'm gonna have to pay better attention to that. Wow. Kind of made the bridge here like a like a pro. That was completely on accident. <laughs> Okay, good. There we go. Now I'm now I'm back to screwing it up. So I only know of two places, like in these in this first region, where there's those little traps. I mean the the demon there just set one off uh, when he was approaching the the lava bridge. There's just like a little rectangle down in the ground that if you walk over it, it causes fire to shoot out and it lingers there for about 10 seconds. Oh, I did not want this guy stealing my food. Come on, bugger off. Uh. And then there's um, another one actually right up ahead over here, which I'll point out when we get to it in, in a minute here. Uh. I've been trying to pay... well, speak of the devil. Level up, nice. I've been trying to pay better attention to how much experience the various monsters get you. I mean, like, even the little bats give you a little bit. The... well, I'll show it off a little more when we... you know, actually get through our death cycle here. But, uh, what I was noticing was it looked like the troll, when you shoot it away, that actually takes away experience from you? Which is a... which makes the troll a much bigger dick than I had already thought that he was. Um, since the whole, like, food for arrows thing, like, your life for weapons that are pretty much pervasive, not really a good deal. Um, Kind of makes him even more of an asshole if to even, like, not deal with that bargain. Uh, yeah, you're taking an experience hit. Yeah, like, there we go. That's a hundred experience, because I killed that, uh, that plant monster and then drove off the, tro the troll there and am back to zero. What a jerk. And you can't just tell him no. So if you run up to him and you have food, he just takes it, and I'm assuming that you don't take an XP hit. And if you don't, it says he curses you, which, you know, I'm uh, assuming that they mean curse in the, like, you know, just slanders you, makes fun of you terms, but I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for that next time to see if he actually drains your experience. <sighs> don't... Don't truck with them trolls. Yeah, not not waiting for these guys to get out of my way. Though, so, when you see how much experience even these little these little wiggle demons give you, you know it. It makes it worth your while to go out of your way and kill all the ones you see. Even set up setting up these little uh, parts of the village to burn can usually coax, uh, coax a good number of these guys just to just to throw themselves into the fire. Hundred experience. 
Ain't nothing. Is it a hundred for those those little wiggle guys? Eh, no, it's like fifty. Okay, still. It's a hundred for the plant monsters. Makes sense considering they're so much more difficult to hit, but still fifty for these guys, which are all over the place. Doesn't seem too bad. You'll see a lot of the times I uh, shoot for no reason, and it's usually because I'm trying to time uh, time the shot to be going just as the screen scrolls over. So if there are any of those uh, demons closing in or any other monsters up ahead, uh, the the arrows are always will already be on their way. Doesn't usually work, but oh, it doesn't often work. But sometimes, you know, it it's worthwhile. I find it's particularly useful when uh, you've got those big blue guys jumping around and they take multiple hits. If you've got them closing on, in on you already, there's not really any way to like run and gun in this game. Like you can't shoot behind you. Um, you have to be running at the creature to uh, fire in its direction, so if something's got a number of hit points, every second kind of counts if you don't want to be like running your head right into the thing. Which we still pull off often enough. Little bit of orange on our character's head there, I had assumed was hair, but you know, could could be his battering helmet or something. He could just be ramming people on purpose. And that could be why uh, the amount of damage we take from monsters seems to vary so much. There might be something to the, uh, the orange helmet theory there. Okay, do I want to... No, I can't vanish if I'm going to get that turkey up there. Yeah, well... I love that these dudes have little shoes and like robot arms and are still dinosaurs. I, there's a lot going on with those bouncy dudes. I'm glad that I took a damage, a uh, tick of damage there to uh, get an item that's going to give me a point of health. That that seems like a strong trade. It's useful if, if for no other reason than missing the troll there. But I'm low on arrows. We just hang out here. Oh, geez, seriously? Uh, keep away! You're giant and inscrutable every now and then I forget that while you're vanished you can actually shoot monsters Ugh, down to one health down to less than one health great not not looking good for our hero here Vanishing maybe was not the uh, the smartest use of our our fleeting amount of time. There's that other trap I was mentioning before. Just sitting there right in front of the eye. I, there's no way to get around it as far as I can tell. Oh, hey, that was lucky. All right. Oh, there's even e an eagle there. Cool. Get away, ghost. All right, take us away. Nice. Nice. Leave me alone. Oh, that's interesting. The fire was still there from before. 
I guess it while it's while it's off screen it doesn't count against uh the amount of time that is burning. Ugh. Two hit points. Not looking good. And no spells, so I pretty much just can't fall in the water here. Mm. Ooh, okay. Close. You know, I know I give this game a lot of shit, but considering that this is from 87, the variety of settings in this, and like the number of items, and number of different monsters, and even as weird as some of it is, I mean, at least it's not boring. There's like, there's not a single monster in this that's like, oh yeah, I've seen those before. Like, the basic monsters that big dude that I've probably talked about the most, even the little plant dudes are like, they're clearly not just ripped off from like, you know, a and d monster manual or any of the other games of its time. Um, you know, all, all five of them. So I have to give the designers of, of this props for just putting whatever crazy ideas were in their brains, like, right out there. I'm playing through this and a number of other, like, retro rom pit games uh, for the Apple IIe or Commodore or, or whatever have you, um, there's been so many good uh, um, little pieces of pixel art that it's like, okay, that needs to be my avatar for everything going forward. The, uh, the big bouncing dinosaurs in this are definitely high on my list. Um, they're even like my favorite color. I like those dudes, especially when they're running behind me trying to rip me apart. Good times. Those ghosts, however, can fuck right off. Don't truck with ghosts. Don't trust them. And they kind of come out of nowhere and just kind of steal your, your 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 HPs. Oh, didn't realize that the big dudes could go through those. Could go through like one one section high um, hallways like that. I even noticed a little earlier that if you're uh, above them by a step, if you shoot them in the head, it just doesn't do anything. It just doesn't go through. Their hitbox isn't up there. So that's kind of weak. Seeing if I can run things out here. I'm not trying to die when I've actually got a pack full of food. And I blink up to the other tier here and maybe get some of that food. Eh. Not trying to waste it. Haven't encountered many of those worm things. Those guys are cool in the way they move, but when they when they turn around, there's like no turning around animation, so it just kind of looks like a glitch. Yeah, that was just kind of proof of concept that like, no, the hitbox for those big blue guys isn't actually in their face, it's just around their feet. So if you're up too high, yeah, you, you can't just hover up there and, and wreck them as they, as they bound by. <laughs> Just look at that guy, though. <laughs> oh, they're gonna dance! Oh yeah, they're friends. Talking them out. They're they're line dancing. Just just down there with all of their horrible little weirdo monster friends. Hee hee hee. I like that. Despite the fact that we were climbing up, they were uh, continuing to to let us see the monster jamboree down there. The uh, 
the syncing on uh, what parts of the screen it's showing you doesn't always seem to line up perfectly well. But uh, sometimes it ends off sh ends up showing off like just weird things that it seems like you shouldn't be seeing like that. Ooh, we're in a state. Five spells, no arrows, one hit point. Oh, good. Thanks, we leveled up. All right, I should have Conjure now, though. That guy wanders off. Yeah, just hit points. More, con more conjuring. Tell that dude to hold up. We'll get to him in a minute. What? Ow, did that hurt me? Uh, that's... Or, in fact, now I'm worse off than... Except for three arrows, I'm worse off than I was before I started conjuring stuff. You know, one arrow, zero arrows, one spell, one hit point. Uh, sure. At least I'll be able to survive a hit here. Oh. Uh, great. Scary alien dudes. Uh, and they can jump through here as well. I like their little looking around animation. They're weird. Just like all the other monsters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It looks like we're dying in the prison. See if I can at least, you know, climb up on the wall like one of those dudes down there. Find a good place to die. Oh, no. I'm just gonna slump against this cave in, apparently. All right. Come on, ghosty. All right, jerk. Take me. Take me to my ancestors. Hey, no, really? The one time a ghost decides to leave me alone? Ghosts is jerks. Bat. Bat will help me. Come on. No. There we go. Leaping to my doom. Put a bat to the face. Yeah, see, I just kind of don't understand what the deal is with, like, the, the orange-brown thing that seems to be on your head. I don't get it. I'm just going to continue assuming that it's a coonskin cap. Oh, hey! I get to be among the annals, like Grimy and Rasta. Um, not that this accepts keyboard commands. Cool. Oh, there. Well, 550. Oh, okay. I'm like, but my number isn't higher. Oh. Just by dint of being a sorcerer, I am higher than all of the wizards. Get to sorcerer, be better than wizards. There's a strict hierarchy. All right, do we do this again? Yeah, we'll dive in again here. No time for lore. I feel like the first arrow I fire is always trying to remind myself which button shoots horizontally and which sh shoots diagonally. Yeah, this is what I was talking about before, though, with uh, how the areas are so distinctive. I mean, like, 
that little weird crater volcano caldera thing in the background there like you don't see that again there's a number of pieces just throughout the entire the entire uh, setting for this that just seem custom made to to be in certain areas um and you know the the upper world part looks you know all about the same but then it, it turns into the the underworld's pretty distinct the prison's really distinct even the like bat caves and the pillars and the caves of courage um all have their own vibe i feel like so many games of the era um were just like you know the same five colors the same bits reused over and over again um i think one of the things that really attracted me to this game even when I was like, you know, seven years old, was the was the exploration of, of the world. I mean, there's elements of this that um, you don't even get in a game like Mario Brothers, which is, you know, a, a better game and a contemporary of this, um, but you don't get to explore in Mario. I mean, this feels more... Uh, like Legend of Zelda, where you have that open world and you can go around and you can get the different spells. There's not, but there's not even an experience system in Zelda. So um, this really seems like it's putting a lot of the the neat elements from um, a lot of the games of that era, and um, is really kind of presaging some of the uh, the the Metroidvania type games that. Uh, you, you would see later. I mean, I wonder when, like, Castlevania came out, because this seems pretty similar to a lot in that, but once again, Castlevania didn't even have an open world to it. So, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with all the stuff that this was doing early on, and I mean, I know that it definitely captured my interest and in, uh, attention when I was young because there was always like, all right, well, I went through all that and that sure did wreck me, so let me try over here. Um, maybe there's a better way, maybe there's a better route. Um, just trying to explore the whole world through here. Um, I don't know that I ever managed to get a run as good as the one that I had in like episode two where I actually was able to collect all six eyes. Like even in this run through, I mean, we've been playing for more than a half an hour here and uh, I haven't been able to get past, well, I didn't manage to get out of the prison last time. So still not as good as that, but uh, it always seems like there's the potential for, is there a faster way? Is there a better route? Um, yeah, which makes it pretty cool. I'm a little surprised that this game didn't didn't get more attention, or that honestly a lot of these Apple IIe games aren't better remembered. Um, I know a lot of folks who uh, had Commodores or Ataris growing up, um, and when I ask them if they had an Apple IIe or played many Apple IIe games, I know there was a lot of overlap at the time between what came out on the Commodore or the Atari or this. Um, but it just seems like there are so many forgotten games, and every now and then you run across something like this that's a real jewel. Um, somebody was noting on my Tumblr a couple of days ago that when I posted the first one of these videos, that, uh, that they had this game, and that's like the first person that I've ever heard of before who was like, oh yeah, Black Magic, I know what that was, but they couldn't remember the name of it. Which was the exact same situation that I found myself in, where it's like, what was that super cool game with the eyes? Um, and like, even just going through pages and pages of like Atari 2E, like, uh, ROM forums and collections and libraries and even on Wikipedia I wasn't able to find anything for the longest time. It, I finally just essentially had to brute force it and just went through like A, 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 B, A, C all the way through. Fortunately, Black Magic showed up in the B's and it's like, okay, that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, that's the one I was looking for. So, didn't have to go too terribly far, but, uh, yeah, it did take quite some time to, to even figure out what this was. 
oh, something that I'll have to post on stream as well, uh, maybe next time after I I actually dig it up, is um, you guys have seen the little picture that shows up at the beginning of this game, the, um, the character on the weird twisting walkway um, with the like blind statue there behind them and, and the various monsters and whatnot. Um, that's not the cover of the uh, the box for this. Um, the cover is like this bizarre, like wizard dude in the lower right hand corner, where there's while well, there's like some monsters that are with him, and just this like forest labyrinth that really looks some like something out of the movie labyrinth and in the distance is like a castle and the blind statues on there as well um but it's all painted and um i'd be interested in finding out who the the painter actually was but because uh, it's not like a, a larry elmore or a jeff esley or or anything like that um but uh it's it looks like something that could have been like a dragon magazine cover back in the day um so yeah i'll have to i'll have to find that for the next stream and and show it off to to all of you because it's it's pretty surreal but uh definitely worth taking a look at uh i can't just sit up here and snipe this dude all right so, we've been getting beat up while I've been rambling on here. Oh, shit. Respawning monsters, never a favorite. Wow, even when I run into him with my, my helmet plus three. Oh, it didn't even do a tick of damage. And then I got got no scoped by the the pellet plant ouch all right well i think that's probably gonna do it for black magic runs today didn't get back up into the the ranks of grammy and rasta so uh We'll definitely dive back into this a little more. We haven't won yet, and I'm still determined to make it all the way through. So thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, next time around, I'll try to have that cover up as well to show off to all y'all. And um, yeah, catch y'all next time.